Hey guys, when did you guys get here? We're live. We're, just, just like that. We're on the podcast. How's it going? Retro Talk, episode thirty-two, I think. Thirty-two. Yeah, oh, we're cruising. We're cruising up the, the the rankings here. We're digging through the ditches and something through the witches, burning through the witches <laughs> as we slam <laughs> into in the, the back, back of my Dracula. My Dracula. Yeah, dude. Uh, today we're talking about today. growing up with the Nintendo Nintendo Land Wii, <laughs> dude. <laughs> the Wii, holding it together up here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, the Wii. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're moving on. So we were talking earlier too about what, what's the cut point for growing up with, yeah. right? Like, when do like we I stop? Think, when will I, we grow up? When will we grow up? <laughs> the answer is never. I think this generation is like the last because the previous generation's still technically going, right? Yeah. Like when we, when we get to PS4, PS4 is still good. Yeah, it is. I don't know about the Xbox One so much. The P, I mean, the PS One still but the, good. Let's be real. <laughs> Did I say PS One? No, no Xbox PS4. One. PS Four and Xbox One. So I mean, the PS Four is still like they're still releasing games for that. Yeah. That's so true. I mean, if you're if you're growing up with the Xbox One and the uh, PS Four, I don't you're know. Today years old. You'd be watching this show. You're today this years is prob- old. Probably not. You know, while it's not uh, not designed for kids. Probably shouldn't be watching. You're probably a baby at this point. You're probably a baby. <laughs> In which case, you have impeccable taste early on. Impeccable taste. I mean, I gotta say, I I love the commitment. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So we wanted to talk a little bit about. Uh, we got Specter Fest coming up. We got our twenty. Mm-hmm. It's our twenty four hour. Charity stream in support of Crohn's and Colitis Canada. Um, October 19th, 2024. October 10 a.m. October 19th. That was Jason's birthday. Yeah. Jason's actual birthday is October 19th. I'm and feeling... we're hosting it on his birthday. I mean, it was it was going to happen. Eventually. Right? Because that's always the weekend that we choose. That's always, yeah, we so try to do it that weekend. With, within seven years it was going to happen on, oh, his, yeah. on his actual birthday right like yeah it's not like it's some crazy miracle but yeah, yeah 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 it's still cool that that it's is extra special how we're doing you know it. yeah extra yeah exactly and not only is it on his birthday but it's also crohn's and colitis's 50th anniversary on top of that so they're celebrating as well as we're celebrating and everyone's kind of coming together which is just it's just loads of like Cool. This is the one, man. This is it. We're going to raise $50,000. This is it. Yeah. So Somehow. I saw on uh, the Crohn's and Colitis Canada Facebook page, mm-hmm. they announced that they have secured five new research grants. Oh, that's all awesome. All towards uh, finding a cure for IBDs. It's so cool. It is cool to be part of this. No doubt. And to like, and, and like we get emails all the time from mm-hmm. the company and stuff, which is super cool. Yep. So we're like... We're always kind of on the cusp of like yeah, we get to what's be in the in the on. loop on things. Yeah, it's, it's fucking it's just cool, super cool. Man. It's and it's cool to be. It, it's just so cool to be looking at like we held this event, we generated this money, and they go thanks for the money. Here's how we're spending it. Right? Yeah, it's not like some some of those big charities that are like. <laughs> 10% the goes towards the cause and then 90% is for the corporate. Yeah. They they put all the money towards research. Yeah, yeah. And they have such a small overhead. Um I don't know what it is specifically this year, but the last time I looked it was like 76% of the amount of money that they raise goes towards research grants. Right. With like t- 24% or 14%, like it's just a small tiny number dedicated to like paying people to help run the company kind of right, thing, right? Yeah. 
because because it's all volunteer everything's mm -hmm. volunteer it's one of the largest volunteer charities in canada um and That's it's just awesome, so cool man. it is so cool i love to be i love to be i'm proud to be part of it yeah same yoda same. is always holding the crohn's and colitis oh bag. that's your rescue yeah. bag thing i that's buy my, my car that's my blankie that's a blankie yeah, so so i hate yoda's got the blankie i hate when you donate to a place and they send you gifts it's like bro fucking uh, yeah keep the goddamn yeah. money I, I I appreciate it. That's why it's out on display. So I yeah, got the blanket. I've got like a little like um I don't know like report cover file folder thing. That's where I keep the white thing right here that I'm kind of pointing at with my thumb. Mm -hmm. These are all the thank you cards that we've received. Ah. And then he's got this sweet Crohn's and Colitis toque. See, like um the I don't mind like a card, like whatever. Send us a card. I'll take or that that thank you card. But yeah, like. I love it. Yeah, my my uh my I wife... feel weird about accepting gifts. Yeah, from some place that I'm donating to. Like my mm -hmm. wife and I used to always donate to I don't even know what it's called, but it's it's like the because her grandpa had um C C P S D or something C O P D. Okay. It's okay, like yeah, a yeah. it's like yep. a breathing like a breathing, thing. breathing yeah. thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. I don't know if it's like the Lung Association of Canada or what, but we okay. used to donate to it all the time, and they would like they would send us like pins and. And like pens and fucking For sure. calendars and shit, which is like super low cost, but it's, still, it's low cost. It's like and in, keep that money, man. I'd rather you sure. just keep that money and yeah. Put it towards... I think a lot of cases too, they get they get promo material like that as. Uh, so I look at it in two ways. I agree. I don't. I don't need a gift. I don't. I do mm -hmm. not need a gift. I look. I appreciate it. I'm never going to to like, not like if you send me something, I'm going to put it on display. I feel like this is the least I can do. If you're gonna send me a product yeah then it's going to go out on display but the thing is that it does it does one of two things one they probably get a lot of these promotional materials as donations from like uh, companies yes, and corporations eh? and stuff yeah yeah and two with that being out it becomes a conversation piece people are like oh this is cool and i'm like yeah this is a charity foundation that we support and it becomes like a talking point yeah that makes so sense. so that is that is the other kind of piece of it i i think i've got a I had bought a mug or something like that or a sticker or something. I keep it up at work. That ends up being talk. I have like posters for Spectrefest. I put them up in my office. People oh, ask that's me cool. about it. Yeah. So I'm constantly trying to get the word out uh, as well. We're getting so far off of topic here. But well, that's we're kind of on we topic, but we're on topic. We're, we just I, took I, an alleyway. To, to, to loop back to the original point, I'm super proud that for the fourth year now, we're going to be raising money for Crohn's and Colitis Canada. That 24-hour stream, every single penny, we don't see any of the money. No. And we wanted that to be our thing. Like yeah. I said to Duke when we first did it, I My said, I don't skills want that money. barely exist. So like, it was like, I do not want to do any we're, accounting. Or no, to, we're, we're not we're not going to be, what was that guy who who pocketed all the, the donation money? The completionist. We're not going to be a, no completionist. No. He that completed money is, charity he fraud. He completed stealing from charity. <laughs> uh, we're literally never going to hold that money. That money yeah. does not go into my pocket. I do not ever see a penny of it. It goes directly to Crohn's and Clay's County, which I think is the way that these things should run. Absolutely. There's no reason yeah. that that money like should ever be in man or hands. whatever. No. Yeah. Give it right to them. Mm -hmm. Cut me out of the picture. If you want to put my name on it, great. I'm glad about that. But honestly, I would rather see you donate that money directly to them than have anything to do with me. Yeah. Just just help them out, right? Yeah, so, exactly. Um, four years, the last three years, almost $12,000 in yeah. donations directly to them. It was uh, they. They said last year during our stream that when we crossed the ten thousand dollar donated mark, that that is the amount they need for a research grant. It's ten thousand bucks for a research grant. That's and why so I want to get to twenty G. We need we need to go year. up to twenty. If if we can do twenty in two thousand twenty four, I will. We need we'll, to, we'll we, it's gonna crazy. be hard, we'll man. We need crazy. to hit like nine thousand dollars. Hundred percent. We'd right? have to blow the doors off. The highest amount of money we've made in a Specter Fest, I think, is forty six oh five, mm -hmm. four thousand six hundred five. Which is that's so, that's bananas. So we would have to do more than double that. But so we still, would have to do more than double of our I, standard. I but want I, it it's to a happen. it's a goal. If it happens, let Duke let's let's put this out there. If we hit twenty k this year, twenty twenty four, you and me got to do something crazy. Yeah, we got it. We'll do something crazy. We'll do some awesome thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't know we'll, what it is. So we're gonna go streaking. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Fuck it. <laughs> no, we uh, we're doing well, jail time. <laughs> we're doing jail time. That's twenty thousand jail time. No, I teach we, kids uh, classes. I can't. I don't think I can go streaking. No, no you can't. You can't. <laughs> 
no, I'm kidding. Please don't hold us accountable, and we won't be doing that. No, the, um, <laughs> we'll we'll do something cool. Maybe I was thinking about something that we could do as like a donation goal. It would have to be down the road. But have you ever seen the show Hot Ones, where they do uh, the hot yes, wings? Yeah, we could do something like that, but not. Not we won't rip it off, right? We won't do mm -hmm. hot wings. We'll do something else. Maybe we do like the Iron Man eating challenge or something, where we've got to like take a slice of pizza and put like a burger and fries and like chicken nugget and bacon on it or something. Yeah, like we we'll just like make something. Or do crazy. one of those. We remember we used to have that old show, Food <clears throat> Face Off, that old blurry product. Food show. Face Off. We could we do, do food every face -off. item on like the value menu. But I don't you think, know what? Are we... there value menus anymore? No, not really. Is but there you know any value in the world nowadays? Now that I'm thinking this, we could drive to the Blue Moon and you and me could go and do a live podcast from the Blue Moon. <laughs> we could do our best. Eating cheeseburgers. Eating cheeseburgers. But, I don't know. Uh, we'll come up with something. We'll come up with something. It'll be good. But, uh, yeah, so... Um, I just wanted to kind of show your support. I kind of wanted mm. to run through kind of what to expect. We did mm, post the schedule. Um, so if you're on the YouTube Let's channel watching this... Uh, I did uh, post it on the on, under the community posts on my main page, but yeah. uh, otherwise, and it's on the Discord. It's on the Discord. It's on yeah. I it's did Facebook. send it out to Facebook. The the official Spectrefest channel uh, shared it. Um, you put it on the Luminaries Facebook yeah, page Luminaries too. Is a live stream. It's it's out there. Um, it'll be a little bit more prevalent too as we get closer to the nineteenth. Um, we'll be sharing a lot of that media around, yeah. but I think it's a good idea. Let's let's run through. But it. yeah, some of the games to expect. I'm um, starting off with Dynamite Heady on the Sega Genesis, yeah. a game I grew up loving and playing as a kid, but I've never beaten. So we're gonna, gonna say, try and beat it for the first time ever on stream. I allotted three the, hours, okay? So I should be. So able you to got beat it. you got this under control. I should be able this to beat is, it in three hours. This is something standard with your set of streams. You kind of have a game that you've never beat before. Last year it was Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde. Oh yeah, I didn't intend to beat Bunny, that one. But Bugs Bunny's <laughs> birthday it. blowout. Yeah, I was. I picked some really bad games last year. They were fun, <laughs> but goddamn, were they awful. Some difficult, some ang some angry games. Yeah, dude. I can't believe I beat Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Anyway. Yeah, you did. You did well. The uh, So, yeah, Dynamite Heady. And then we got our friend Grania joining us and Fates mm -hmm. joining us for Dragon Quest Heroes 2. And, of yep. course, Ken 10 is also joining us for that. Um, power, that's a power block. Yeah, and how, that, that's a couple hours, three it's, hours. Yeah, so we're gonna play it by ear. I a lot. Of, I slotted an hour and a half. We're gonna be right. doing all like the post game boss, super boss fights and stuff like that. So yeah, that, it'll be fun. Um, and you were saying Grania's got a kind of like a personal connection with Spectre yeah, Fest so too. Yeah, so Grania right? had. Yeah, yeah, she had uh, Crohn's disease, I believe it was, mm -hmm. and she she almost like passed away from it. So it She's, was she had a rough go. Crohn's yeah, is yeah. rough, and then Crohn's, she ended up. Crohn's is really rough. She ended up finding. They ended up finding a medication. Just like I think it was like last year or something like that. Yep. I hate to be screwing this story up, but. Uh, and and we'll her we'll life. let her tell it, but yeah, yeah. I think she said she's gonna do a, a promo video or something like that too. That's so cool. And uh, so she, as soon as she heard that we did this charity stream for Crohn's and Colitis, she was like, "Holy crap, that's so awesome!" And she's like, to "I'm be in on board." <laughs> yeah. So and that's not the first person like we spoke about that before. That's not like the first person who's like, "Oh, you're doing this thing for Crohn's and Colitis." Well, I have Crohn's and or colitis. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's it's insane. It is insane how many people you come across. Yeah, that ha that either have it or know somebody. I think mm -hmm. I re read a statistic. It's like one in twenty Canadians will be diagnosed with it. Oh, which wow. is that's like that's that's a, that's lot. a lot, right? Like, yeah, it's crazy, crazy that uh, that those numbers are so high. So I'm glad that that she found a, a medication. Yeah, Crohn's, she takes like, like I so, think she said she only has to take like a pill a day or two pills good a for day her. now. And she's yeah, good I, to go. Jason Jason was on a, like a handful. I think he had. He had when he was when he was also taking because one of the things with this is that they put you on um, steroids. I what the name's escaping me right now. Prednisone. Okay. Oh, I've so heard that. one yeah. So one of the things is they they at, at the worst of it he was on prednisone, um, and so they put you on prednisone because steroids are like like Wolverine level powers, right? Yes. Yeah. Speed up your healing yeah. um, at, at the, at the cost of like your uh, immunity, your like your, your natural immunity to like 
disease and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Um. So so anyway, so at the height of it, I want to say he was taking twelve to fifteen pills Holy in a day. Shit, dude. Right, because you've got the prednisone, and then you've got the uh the other. There was a bunch of different meds that he was on that were like gut repair and then in to- on top of like the medication you then have to backfill with like iron supplements because you've got blood issues oh it's like you're depleting everything with, yeah you're backfilling vitamins you're backfilling like all of this other stuff That's in wild. order to just balance right uh, because the other problem is that when you're having these gut problems and Crohn's is, is even worse than ulcerative colitis ulcerative colitis is your lower tract Crohn's is the entire thing oh. right and so um in some cases with with Crohn's, if it's bad enough, you can't eat, right? You get a feeding tube put in because you literally can't eat Jeez. because your your body's just not digesting properly. So um so it's 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 crazy. And so if she's come out the other side, good for her, hoping yeah. that that stays that way. No doubt. And uh I'm super stoked. When you told me that she was on board, I was like, That's that's some of the best mm-hmm. news that I've heard in a long time. Yeah, it's so awesome. I'm stoked. This is going to be a Grania. special year, man. Fates is one of our best, best friends. friends. Yeah. Like, Fates is just awesome. I've thrown Spectrefest, the raid of Spectrefest, to Fates. I think we do every year. We raid, we raid Fates <laughs> at the end of Spectrefest. As long as he's playing DDR, dude, I, I roll in with 64 people, and he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> every year, yeah. <laughs> every year. Yeah. And uh, and I'm sorry, I, I missed the. Uh, Ken the, 10. So we Ken needed. 10, so I don't know. He's Ken one 10. of Grania's friends. And we mm-hmm. like, we needed a fourth, right? Because it's a party of four. And we mm-hmm. were like, man, like, I hope we can find a fourth. Because the problem is, like, you need to be really high level in order to do these super boss fights. And, and have so a you, balanced party. Yeah. And so you can't just find, like, some rando on the internet, right? So it ended up right. working out. He was like, yeah, dude, I'll totally do this. And then not only that. But here's where here's where he really stepped up is last weekend we did kind of like a test stream just to make yep. sure like everything was going to run smoothly. We were all going to you know how like PS3 and 4 can be of course, with like you wanna, adding you people make sure. and and making sure that you're all be able to connect and stuff. So anyways, yeah. he's like, "Yep, yeah, I'm I'm in whatever." He ended up going to a surprise birthday party for one of his friends in Texas and he brought his laptop and his PlayStation so that he could no do way. it there, the test stream there. That's and it's like, awesome. holy shit, dude. That is – we appreciate the hell out of that. Yeah, so that absolutely. Was great. But, Huge thank you. But, yeah, that that's going to be a blast. Uh, be I slotted an hour and a half, and I told them, like, if we run long, it's fine. If we run short, that that's be fine. fine. Because after that, yeah. I've got OutRun 2 Coast to Coast on PC, mm-hmm. and that's going to – that's, like, one of those games that I can just chill and play you for hours on You just roll with for end. a while. Yeah. Yeah. So – and then after that, where you've got our mm-hmm. – uh, your block begins, and we have our, our combo stream. So we'll be doing Streets of Rage 4. Um, yeah. And then I think you're rocking RC Pro-Am and some retro yeah. games after so that's, that. Yeah, so every year I like to do a retro medley. Um, and for anyone that doesn't know, so it's 24 hours. We split it into two six-hour uh, chunks twice. Yeah. So four, Dookie six does hour. six hours, I do six hours. Dookie does six hours, I do six hours. And then when we swap off, we're hanging out in each other's chats. We're mm-hmm. moderating. We're making sure things are going well. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so for for mine, um, our, I chose RC Pro Am because that is a Nintendo game that that Jason really enjoyed playing. Okay, um, I'm excited to see that. I haven't played that yeah. game in years, man. I think I, I rented it when I was either. like eight. <laughs> I haven't played it in a long time, so it's it's going to be great. I'm pretty sure I've got it on the uh, control deck. Okay. Um, and so if I do, it'll be on actual hardware. I've got the actual game, and I should I should look at maybe actually hooking my NES. The problem is though is that streaming from the actual it looks NES so fuzzy. looks yeah. awful. It does not look good. So if if I, if I have it on my mini system, I'm gonna bring it up on that we'll mm-hmm. see what i can do but i have the actual cart like the cart is in my collection oh sweet um and i picked it up for that exact reason is that it was one of jason's favorite uh nes games and i like to do my my retro medleys based on that so um last year I did ken griffey jr baseball oh yeah um which was also one of his favorites we used and to play then that at years, your grandma's house we did that is that was our <laughs> that was our classic uh snes title uh and then the two years before that i did i did master system medleys and then so Chop what i do lifter. is i pick i pick yeah dude i pick one game that i'm like this is the one that we're gonna play through and then depending on when we finish 
or when I have had enough. Because some of those games, they're just hard. So hard. And it's time, it's time yeah. to be done. Um, and so when that comes up, then I, I have like a basically open-ended. I'll take requests from chat if if that's a thing that we're doing. Otherwise, I bring up some of the other games that we've got. Um, F-Zero almost always comes up every year just because it's one of those games yeah, that I can just... You love, I can turn my brain off and play. You're good at that too, right? man. And so, uh, so yeah, so we're going to run through some games. And then after my retro medley, that's when the uh, Pathfinder crew comes on. Right. And we're going to be doing some gaming. And I'm still locking down what that game is going to be. Uh, we did Worms last year, which was a lot of fun. Right. We're, there's, a, there's a lot of discussion about what we might play. So the actual game, who knows? But the, the point of that block is that um, we've been donated, uh, I'm going to say graciously, but like it's it's kind of, it's 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 a double edged sword so this person handcrafted these chocolates for us uh and so every year we do trick or treat which is basically we pull from a bag sometimes it's a good candy sometimes it's like bugs right yeah. like it's gross mm -hmm. stuff um Scorpions. and so she's like she's like i made chocolates for you and i'm like oh cool i didn't even ask are these like nice chocolates or are these chocolates that like we're going to be very grumpy with you after we eat she's like i'm not going to be anywhere near you when you eat those chocolates so and that's nice. all she said. <laughs> Fantastic. So, I don't know what it is that we're expecting uh, from these, but myself, uh, Finny, Rocket, and Murphy, uh, we're going to be in and uh, playing games. That's going to be a lot of fun. And that's where we close out my block and bring it back to you again. Yeah. Um, I believe in the form. Well, that's our community game now. Yeah, Jackbox we're doing. It'll we're be at 10 p.m. Mountain Time. Um, yeah. We're doing a Jackbox, so... We and encourage. not everybody's going to be able to play, yeah. but there is an audience for every game. And yeah, and you're able to like be, vote you know, on in. stuff too, yeah. right? Yeah. On your phone so and stuff like that. We're, we're going to we're going to kind of pre-select the players. We'll we'll talk with the folks that can that can join us. Yeah. Um. Just because there's it'll likely there's be people from the stuff. Discord and yeah, we got to try there's, and keep it PG thirteen. We, we got to keep it PG thirteen because the last thing we need is to get banned halfway through Spectre Fest. <laughs> somebody wrote something on there that uh, that is inappropriate. So yeah. Um. So as far as it goes for people playing, we will we'll communicate. If if you're interested in playing, you can send us a message. We can talk about it. Um, but otherwise, uh, we'd love for you to be part of the audience. And and the yeah. way that those games work, for anyone that doesn't know, when you join the audience, you get to play the game with everybody else. Yeah, you, you're still you typically voting come in, like that. Yeah, you typically come in as like a fifth player kind of idea. Yeah. Um, and so it'll be a lot of fun. And it's going to be interactive. We're going to have a great time with it. It's going to be fun. And then uh, if, you, if we reach during the third block here, so the 10 p.m. till 4 a.m. block, the shitlord hours of the night, <laughs> um, if we reach... If we reach, what is it, 2,000? Let me see here. Well, yeah, if we reach 2,000 during or before the end of uh, of that third block, I'll be playing Mega Man X6, which is probably my least favorite Mega Man game of all time. It is awful. Yeah. I hate it Not so much. Not a big much. fan of that one. So it's going to be an interesting <laughs> time. And even if we don't reach that, I'm going to be playing croc and uh, i'm gonna be playing ready to rumble boxing and then i'm gonna That's finish good. off with croc which apparently controls kind of like bubsy 3d so oh no yeah <laughs> so i'm kind of excited but kind of nervous to see how that'll go yeah um and then and then we're at the final switch off we'll be playing some mario kart on the super nes on the That's switch the there. perfect the perfect 4 a.m Switch it is over. because we it's... switch at four or three uh four i think we switch at four yeah because we'll be four. like, I'll be like, we'll be zombified by that point, yeah. and yeah, Mario oh, Kart's yeah. the way to go. It's a, it's a real like just simple, but simple. Still. We're gonna play, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then uh, from Mario Kart, then uh, Boz and Bubs are joining me again this year. Good on them, dude. Every year so far for Spectre Fest, those two guys have jumped in. Um, we've got it narrowed down to four games. We might go through all four. We might not. Um, and that's basically Deep Rock Galactic, oh, right. uh, Valorant, Overwatch 2, and Rocket League. So amongst those four games... I feel like you have to play before. Rocket League. Rocket League is so fun. Dude, dude. Jason so, was like a big Rocket League guy. Dude, so me, me, my little brother, Bubs, and uh, Jason, what we played a ton of Rocket League. Mm -hmm. We played an epic ton. So, so 
those two, my two brothers started playing Rocket League because they gave it away for free on PS4 when it came yep. out originally. Yeah. And so they grabbed it. They're like, this game's fantastic. And I was like, I don't, I, at that point, I didn't have a PS4. So yeah, was like, and Whatever. I'm shit at it. I played with them, PS4. but it was like, <laughs> yeah, okay. They got really good at it. Jason ended up buying it on Steam, and then I started playing it with him on Steam. Mm. Um, and uh, I, I, ha I have to kick up my Steam here, and I'll, I'll tell you how many hours I have in it. Because um, him and I basically played together the entire time. <laughs> Rocket League, here we go. I have got 83 hours in Rocket League on Steam. So he had about 83 hours on Steam, and he probably had an equivalent or more on the PS4 yeah. as well. Right. Um, and so what would what ended up happening is the three of us ended up playing together. We would change our names to some form of Nick Lachey. You know, yeah, Nick Lachey you, guys, you were degrees. like the 98 degrees team. And so my little brother would be like Big Nick. Uh, Jason would be like Nicky Nick Lachey. And I would be like Nicky Nick's little brother Lachey or something like that. Like something stupid. And what would end up happening is we would play Rocket League. And we would score a goal and we had our microphone routed into our computer yeah. so that when we scored a goal, we would open up the microphone and play 98 Degrees songs. No. The other team. I didn't Dude, know it that. Was, we, it was so bad. It was hilarious. <laughs> I didn't we know that. awful. And, uh, and yeah, it was it, it, so many fun memories. So Rocket League is definitely up there on That's the list funny. of games that we wanted to play. And then... Um, the other three are games that I've played with Boz and Bubs. We we did Overwatch and Valorant uh, regularly. Valorant's mm -hmm. what I typic what I came into uh, Twitch streaming. Right. Um. And so a lot of times those middle of the night hours are perfect for first person shooters because that's not where the sweaties are on. Like the sweaties right. aren't on in the middle of the night. So the games are fun because it's balanced at least in that case yeah. for the most part. So. It's like super early in the yeah. morning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and then we're finishing the stream off after. So, so that goes for about three hours or so. Um, and then for the last couple hours, I I typically open the stream up for uh, um, requests and like stuff. Requests, yeah. Like I typically open it up for requests for specific games. I have a a huge collection of NES, SNES, and Genesis games. Mm -hmm. So we tend to stick with that for the most part but um if but... we reach three thousand dollars before yeah. or during the the end any time that... before the end of specter fest yeah with he's enough gonna time be to finishing the, the stream off playing some cuphead oh, I don't and he don't like do cuphead <laughs> i don't want to do that because i don't want to feel frustrated and you'll, you'll be like 24 hours tired too <laughs> It's gonna be so. Awesome. It's just gonna not. It's gonna be not a fun time. <laughs> uh, so, so I I'm confident that we're going to get there. So I'm I'm mentally preparing myself for that moment. Might have to put some but, rounds uh, in on Cuphead or something. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna I'm gonna have to put some rules down on what that means. I, I the way that I'm taking it is that um we'll finish with Boz and Bubs around eight a.m. or so because mm -hmm. that's usually when when we finish up. Then from eight till nine, we'll do retro medley and requests. And then if we've raised enough, we will do. I'll do an hour of Cuphead, and, and an hour good. is a long time. That is a long time. <laughs> an hour is a long game. time on the same boss. That is a long <laughs> time because it because that's what it's going to be. It's going to basically be just me getting like just red face <laughs> and fucking frustrated. bodied. So like oh, nonstop. Man. So I should actually boot that up and do some practice. Yeah, dude. So that's that what I mean. You should get some awful. rounds in. But, but uh yeah, but that's yeah. kind of so, what to expect of this year's Spester Fest. It's Spester Fest. Spectre Fest. <laughs> it's gonna be a blast. It always is. It's always a it's great always a lot freaking of fun. time, man. And I think yeah. everyone that always comes out because your guys' support is what kind of makes it. I mean, you literally are Spectre Fest as much as we, absolutely as much as or more than we are. So yeah. And a huge shout out for the folks that stick it out for the whole twenty. We've had we've had two individuals like Goodsy and Krim both have mm -hmm. stuck it out the whole for just about the hours. full twenty four hours with us. Yeah, and uh, those that's that's the kind of thing like anyone that comes and hangs out with us, I'm so incredibly grateful for. Yeah, uh, especially those that are active in chat because you're the reason why I don't fall asleep while we're like <laughs> yeah. bonking out while we're yeah, playing, dude. right? Um, and so yeah, it is. It's surreal. It's it's one of those things where I I can't I can't thank our community enough 
and every year when we complete it and i see that final total and i i literally just it's like watching it's that unbelievable. money go directly into crohn's and colitis canada and mm -hmm. i love it i love it i love everything about it so but yeah. let's swing in to the main topic um we're talking so, about growing up with a wee <laughs> so let's start. Um, so we were gonna, we we're deciding. We we're like, are we gonna do the PS3 or the Wii? And it turns out they both came out in like November of the same yeah. year. But I, I distinctly remember playing the Wii first before the mm -hmm. PS3. So we were like, yeah, let's maybe do the Wii first because I think we both probably played the Wii before the PS3 because the PS3 yeah. came out like kind of like the PS5, like outrageously priced. So like nobody we yeah. knew really had one, right? Yeah, I didn't get the PS3 until so the the PS3 launched its like backwards compatibility model like those first ones, right? Yeah. I didn't get the PS3 until they re launched the non backwards compatible Oh, really? Like the lower slim? Well, not it's not, not the, the slim, slim, but it's the like 80 right gig before the slim. Or the yeah. the the one yeah. after the 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 backwards compatible ones. I know what you mean. Right. Yeah. So they, they kind of like, it was like right before they released the slim, they released this version of the console. Yeah. yeah. It was a little bit lower priced. Um, and that's the one that I got. Sorry. And that's the one that I got. <laughs> and um, that would have been a few years later. So by that point, I already had the Wii. Um, PS3 was solid, but the Wii, I wanted really bad for Super Mario Galaxy. Oh. I wanted to play Super Mario Galaxy so bad. Um, and so my wife wanted to get it for me for a Christmas present. Okay. Um, but they were impossible to find. Because Nintendo and always it, does that fucking false the, the, shortages, the right? fake shortage. Man, I tell you. They're and so, so bad for that shit, man. I <laughs> didn't get my Wii. Man, it would have been April, March, April of, of 2007, probably. Okay. So, like, almost getting close to a year released by the time that I actually got my hands on. And when we did well, get our hands on... probably 2008, because I think it came out November of 07, is what we... Uh, wasn't it 06? I, I think, think it was, it was 06. 07. Oh, now we gotta... Now I gotta look it up. <laughs> I think it was November It was 2006. 07. Oh, was it? November 19th, 2006. Oh, yeah. I thought it was 07. Yeah, I remember because it was, like, one of the... Like, I had graduated college, and it was one of those things that I wanted to get as, like... My, oh, like, I got a new job, I see, I see. I started a new job, I wanted, yeah, like, it yeah. was that christmas that i had um and so that's what i wanted to do and so anyway um we sports i wanted to play we sports because everyone was playing we sports yeah but i wanted it for mario galaxy and so i finally got my hands on it didn't like mario galaxy that's funny <laughs> i've never played mario galaxy it, i mean it was okay there's nothing wrong with it it was a fantastic game for what it was but I immediately learned that I did not like waggle controls. Mm. Like immediately. I, d I hated the the idea of having to shake the stupid Wiimote yeah, every single yeah. time you wanted to do something. And I What did you have I, to use I, the waggle for for Mario So Galaxy? you would like move from a planet to planet and you had to waggle the controller. And you had like jumped on guy and then you waggle the controller again. And it, there was just a lot with like the motion. Oh. They did it fine for motion controls not existing, right? Like yeah, looking yeah. back not a lot of fun but in that moment sure great yeah awesome right um but yeah not not my not my cup of tea uh, uh i i was hoping for something a little bit more than what it was so but still a fun system i don't I, know when when did you get your so system? i don't even know when i got mine but i know the first time i played it was at uh our friend chad's house mm. and he red steel Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I wasn't even gonna bring that up. Oh really? But I co I completely that forgot I about that. Playing at his house. I that so I remember playing uh, Wii Sports was like the right. was what yeah because it came with the thing right yeah yeah and like I just remember like just dominating in the boxing. So first of all, for those of you that don't know, this is the sh the controller that is. comes with it, and this is where my hatred for Nintendo really began. Because they would sell this for like full controller price, and then they would sell bucks. this for like forty for bucks. Forty, yeah. Yep. And they're like, "Here, we'll sell you half a controller for the same price as a controller for any other console, yep. and then you can buy the other half for another All forty dollars, and then yep. for another fifty dollars, you can buy an actual controller." And the actual controller would have been okay if the cable came out the right end. Yeah, it plugs into the bottom. And into and the that's bottom. Awful. It's awful. <laughs> it's a good controller though. I do like the, it's a good, the Wii it's Classic. It's a good controller. controller. 
But I hate how the cable comes out the bottom. Yeah, of it. yeah. Um, I just hate it. And then what else? Oh, and then they, yeah, they would also charge you like thirty dollars for a piece of plastic that you could put your Wii remote in, so it's like a steering wheel. Like God, yeah. I hate. Oh man. Oh, the plastic accessories were insane. Oh, dude, n- dude Nintendo was just gouging at this point, yeah. raking it. False in. shortages fucking double cost controllers they still do the double cost controllers man they they charge 120 dollars for fucking switch joy cons these shittiest absolute shittiest controllers ever made next to like the n64 and they charge you well there's two controllers in there no there's not you fucking dickheads anyways (laughs) enough about my hatred for over nintendo yeah they're they're the the accessories were insane. Yeah, the other dude. thing too, when the Wii released, the Wii original Wii, because Jason got a launch day Wii. Oh wow! He was in line. He got one of the ones on launch. The original Wii did not have the uh, rubber bumpers on the outside of the. Controller. Oh yeah, I still don't have those. Uh, and uh, if you didn't install the wrist strap. There was people throwing their Wii through the TV. TVs. Yeah, yeah. I never installed yeah. my wrist straps either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. No. So by the time that I got mine, they were packing them in with the rubber cover, the condom. Oh, okay. They were packing it in with those. Was it more comfortable to hold with the rubber thing on? It, it gave it a grip, which I liked. Because yeah, the, this... it made the end of it spongy. This just feels like I'm holding pattern. a fucking TV remote. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it it's was, an awful it was... controller. It was a lot more comfy. This might be a worse controller than the than the Joy the Switch Joy Cons. I don't think so. No, I don't know. I mean, it it is. (laughs) Like it's 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 not not if you hold it like this, it's even less comfortable. (laughs) Uh, I I I don't like the Joy Cons. If we're if we're going into this comparison, the reason why I would give that comparison to the Wiimote is because of the size of the Wiimote. The, the Joy-Con, I happen to have one literally right beside me here, right? This is not comfy to play. <laughs> no, but when you buy two of them and put them no, together. No, that, the, the price, price-wise, I completely agree with you. But, I mean, this is not comfy to play. But neither is that, it. That, this kind of is, dude. I remember it's playing, comfy. I it's remember comfy. playing some games and I'd be just fucking sprawled out like this. 100%. Playing games. So, I guess, yeah, you kind of got a point there. It's it's comfy. It was now, really the, the, it was kind of weird because I was like, you're not supposed to play video games like this. But I was like, yeah, yeah. you know what? I'm gonna... Yeah, you just you get into a comfy place, and yeah, I typically you can just... keep them on my belly like this, right? Yeah. So yeah. I kind of put like one above the other, and I just kind of yeah. Play I like never, this. I never, yeah. And, I did and that, and it was and, always and it was, it was always weird, but it was comfy. That's how I played a lot of No More Heroes. But the oh, problem, okay. the other thing with No More Heroes is you did have to swipe the Wiimote for attacks. Right, right. So, to charge I, up I, the I, thing too, right? Yeah, so instead of like actually swiping like that, I would just go like this. Uh, like, so I, any, I yeah, hate I hate Waggle. <laughs> that brings me back to when I first played the the Wii. Yes. So yeah, we were at Chad's house doing like Wii bowling, and then there was that yeah. trick where if you like got the ball up on that thing, it would just blow up at the end and you would get a strike every time. For sure. Um, but anyways, the the boxing was like everyone was like trying to actually box, right? Yeah. And and I, I would just go and win every time. <laughs> <laughs> I would just go like this. And then they were just getting knocked the fuck out, right? Like yep. it was the best. And it, I, I don't know. It was so much fun. And like now looking back, like nobody's going to be like people bought the console to play Wii Sports. But people did dude, like it was it was something it. completely new at the time. I, anybody who scoffs at Wii Sports never played it. That's that is that is the reality of it, because Could I got to tell you, Wii Bowling and the tennis were two of the oh, most. The tennis was I was dude. On the Wii. tennis one was really good. I forgot. About it was that so one, much fun. It was the baseball was one always made my arm fun. sore. <laughs> yeah, all the other games I didn't like so much. The golf wasn't as super fun. The golf was actually the decent, but yeah, it was the okay, tennis, but it, tennis but it was top tier, man. Tennis and bowling were hands down. Yeah, and boxing. Hand over you, fist. He just went like this the whole Well, time. that's why I hated boxing. I hated <laughs> I hated any of the games that could be cheesed, but bo- but bowling and tennis you couldn't. Yeah, right? Yeah. Bowling and tennis you actually had to play the game the way that it was intended. Yeah. And that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. Tennis, um, yeah, I loved, man. That same time I I were, I think I was there with you. We we were playing Red Steel. Yeah. Red Steel was not a fun game. No, but, but it was it, it was, was innovative as fuck. It was innovative and it it had you had to pick Because you have the little speaker and the like speaker. so we would play 
keep in mind we've never played like single player story never mode played. red speed red steel okay and red steel was like a selling like i, I don't know if it was a launch game but it was very close to launch yeah, if know. not and it was like a very big like selling point for the wii because when the wii first came out all it had was like kind of like kitty games right like wii sports mm-hmm. and like whatever like not not like adult ish teen ish games right right and red steel was like their big kind of like hey this is like you're like a i don't know serial like a killer guy or a bounty hunter guy kind of thing right you gotta like hunt these dudes and yeah. uh anyways we would play a uh, multiplayer we just played multiplayer at, at our friend chad's house and there was a mode where one guy was like the hunter and one guy was yep. to be hunted right yeah. And, and then the other two were just like in the room and everybody's phone would ring. Like everybody's remote co- controller would ring like you were getting like a call on your cell phone and you'd yep. put the speaker right up to the ear and it would say you are the hunter or you are the hunted yep. or kill this player or whatever, right? Yeah. And then and nobody knew but you but but each individual. It worked really well. Yeah, it was really cool. It was cool. But I do the have game the game itself list of... wasn't all wasn't super good. No, the game wasn't super fun. <laughs> it was fun that one time we played it, but yeah, I don't yeah. know if I would play it again after that. I do have the list of launch titles here. Yeah. Red Steel was a launch title. Oh, it was? Okay. Um, but this is what you've got. You've got Avatar the Last Airbender, <laughs> Barnyard, <laughs> Disney Pixar Cars, DBZ Budokai Tenkaichi 2. Oh, I think I have that. <laughs> uh, Excite Truck, GT Pro Series, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, Monster 4x4, Need for Speed Carbon, Nickelodeon Barnyard. Wow, these are a lot of di- diarrhea games. Rayman Raving Rabbids. Oh, yeah, Red that's Steel. when all the Rabbids games came out. And they was, were like, the oh, Raving Wagle. Rabbids was, uh, was a rail shooter, I think. Oh, was that one a rail again. shooter? Uh, Red Steel, SpongeBob SquarePants, Creature from the Krusty Crab. <laughs> Super Monkey Ball, Banana Blitz. Monkey Ball games are pretty fun. Monkey Ball was fun, and that was one you would have had to have yeah tilted some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been kind of fun. The Grim Adventures of Bill and Mandy, Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess. That That was was the that that was was their big system seller. Trauma Center: Second Opinion, which I don't know if you that was a good game. Trauma Center games. Yeah, I have. I gave that to my uh, mother in law actually. And then Wii Sports. Yeah. And then, like, Wii Sports has the pack-in, right? A lot so of bad games, but there's the odd that. good one. But that yeah. was kind of, like, the Wii in general. Like, the Wii was, like, the big, like, shovelware console, hey? Like, For you sure. had Ninja Bread Men and, like, all oh, these yeah. there was diarrhea titles on the Wii. There's a lot of awful games. Yeah. Um, J- Japan had a SD Gundam game. Okay. Uh, SCAD Hammers, it's called. Oh, no. idea. No. Um... And then uh, they also had WarioWare Smooth Moves. Oh, that would have been also, fun. Was also released at the time of. Uh, but I the the Wii was like weird because like they would they would legitimately just like map an input to this. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? I, like so, I, it, this could have been a button press on any other controller, but on the Wii it was like this or so this. I, our we we once upon a time did a fishing derby, a video game fishing derby. Yeah, we would do it and, like mo- monthly or something like that. And right? we did a monthly kind of like a challenge. And so, Twilight Princess was one of the ones. I picked up a copy of Twilight Princess for the Wii, and I got all the way to where you need to get to for fishing. I just about quit the fishing challenge three times because I said to Duke, I was like, I can't play this game anymore. Like these waggle controls are driving me insane. Because you would be Link, and you'd walk into yeah. a pack of monsters, and you'd have to <laughs> swing this stupid Wiimote around to, to attack. And what would end up happening is you would attack, like, not in the right direction. Yeah. You would just, like, attack randomly. Where I was like, oh, if I had a controller, I could actually do this yeah. properly. Um, and so, yeah, I have a hatred for waggle games. But the I, fishing I, in Twilight Princess is really good. Fishing in Twilight Princess was great. Because you that would, like, cast fantastic. like this, and then you would, like, and then you, you would, would literally reel. Reel. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. the fishing was really good. They they did well there. I'm I'm surprised that they that they didn't. There was fishing games for the Wii, but none of them ever stood out as, like, this is an amazing fishing game. Yeah, yeah, right? that's true. Like, I'm surprised Twilight that Twilight Princess that probably did the best job. Like, you think about, like, that Sega fishing game that they released Sega for Bat, the Dreamcast. Sega or whatever, yeah. With the Dreamcast yeah, fishing controller. Yeah. You would think that they would have just released done something that. something like that on the Wii. And, and, and done it well. There was fishing games on the Wii, but I don't think any of them were done, like, incredibly well. Like, how well. they could have been, yeah. One thing I do need to say about the Wii was, like, how... 
it was like so accessible that like everybody would play it. Like I, my grandma and grandpa would come over and play oh, yeah. the Wii, like uh, Wii Sports with me. I remember my grandma. It was like I think it was like Christmas the one year, and it was like me, my cousin, my grandma, and my mom or something like that. And we were playing Wii. We were just Wii bowling like all night. And my grandma kicked like all our asses at Wii bowling. <laughs> and it was just like I don't know. Is the Wii because of the motion controls? Yeah. It it lowered the barrier to entry for a lot of games. For sure. For um, sure. And then my grandma, like when my grandma and grandpa, they ended up getting cancer and getting like real sick and stuff. And they used to love like horseback riding and like fishing and stuff like that. And like, dude, Twilight Princess got so much play from like my grandma and grandpa because the, okay. the just like the horse riding, right? They would I just would, like, literally get on the around. horse and like jump over the things, right? In Zelda. And then we'd like go fishing. We would like, you get on your little canoe, you go fishing. Like we would just. I th- I want to find this picture because I know we took a picture. My gra- it was me and my grandpa and I don't know if my grandma was in the picture as well, but we literally had like our fishing hat on and like we had like mm. the fishing we were dressed up like we were right. going to go fishing. You're we were fishing. And we were playing at, it, it, I brought my Wii to my mom's house and we were all That's we so f- cool. spent the whole afternoon fishing in Zelda because they were sick, That's right? Awesome. They couldn't go like yeah out on a fishing trip so it was yeah. like I, I, and the, the fishing was good it was like really the, the good. mini game was a lot of fun yeah and there were like different lures that would catch different fish and you got to like treat the lures different to to lure in the different fish but yeah the i mean the, i'll say about zelda games zelda has always had fun fishing anytime that yeah, they've had true. fishing in the game dude even the freaking correctly. uh ocarina of time was also really good yeah, yeah yeah but even the game boy one um Oh, really? Link's, Awakening uh, Link's Awakening had like a little fishing mini game, and it's fucking okay. good, man. It's really it good. good. Yeah, yeah. It's... They've always done fishing right, I think. Absolutely. And then the other thing for barrier to entry wise, my father in law is like a big like World War II fan guy, right? Mm-hmm. And so when he would come down, this was kind of like the one time he came down to visit us because he lives like six hours away, right? So he doesn't come down very often. But he came down, and it was shortly after Call of Duty World at War came out on, like, PS3. And so I was playing through that, and he was just, like, watching and just loving it. And I was like, well, it's, like, it's two-player. You could play with me. But, like, boomers can't do, like, if if you (laughs) didn't grow up They don't naturally hold a controller. Well, if you didn't grow up knowing, like, this is how you walk forward, and this is how you turn your camera, and this is how you strafe... Like, it's very hard to pick up. Like, it's not natural to them, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, I ended up getting... I bought it for myself first to make sure that it wasn't shit because a lot of Wii's you would games on the Wii. It's tough. You yeah. would get and they would be so shitified that like it mm-hmm. wasn't worth playing. But anyways, I ended up getting this Wii Call of Duty game and it was a World War Two one and I don't remember what it was called, but it was and it controlled really well. So you'd walk around like this. And this was basically your right joystick. Like aiming. Yeah. Okay. So you would aim if you turn this far, like f- off the screen, he would he would turn that way, and then so it's almost the, like a shooter, like an arcade shooter, almost. It, yeah, but you're actually moving around too, right? Mm-hmm. And so I I got it. I made sure it worked, and then I gave it to him for Christmas the one year, and then the, that that Christmas, like he just like played. The, no he kidding. played through the whole thing because he could actually finally <laughs> play it, right? And he just loved it. And the, I think the coolest thing about that game, and like a lot of the a lot of the games are just like waggle waggle, click click, shoot shoot, right? Mm-hmm, and like mm-hmm. even the Lycan games, like they're pretty good. Like the Wii was nice because it brought Lycan games back to life, and I love Lycan games. That was really good. Yeah, like gun games were great. Yeah, like, House, like of the House, House of the Dead. They came out like so the House good. of the Dead Overkill, which was so good. Yeah. Um. But anyways, some of the games would have like these, like every once in a while you'd get like innovative controls for that game Mm -hmm. and, um, this call of duty game. So all the, all of them for the most part were like, okay, you've got like a machine gun. So you're going like this or whatever, a pistol, you're going like this. But if you pulled out your rocket launcher, you would actually hold it over your shoulder like this. Oh, no way. And then you would, yeah, you would like, you would like push the button on top or, on, or something like that in order to r- launch the rocket. And I thought that was so cool. Because, that's so cool. Yeah, because it was, it was like if you had a rocket launcher, that's what you would do, right? Like you would have. Yeah, it. like I, I love that idea. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah, so everything so, was like this, but then, yeah, you'd get the rocket yeah. launcher. And some, be... some of the games did the motion controls very well. Yeah, most But did. I really felt towards the end, like, they just kind of phoned it in. Like, do you remember Wii Music? 
Do you oh remember the guy my playing god! The drums I never the played music? it, but I remember the like the video E3 of the guy presentation, like... and he's like, <laughs> and then everybody else is like, <laughs> and it's like, burr, 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 burr. like this sound oh, sounded so bad. Like I I gotta applaud him for like trying something new. Great, but it looked like, awful. At and that even point Miyamoto time... was like, like he was like, oh, <laughs> he what have I done? Buddy. What the, have I done? I'm I'm so glad that we moved away from 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 the the fad gaming, right? Like yeah. now that we're like where we're at right now, I think VR is even kind of moving away to it's not like VR was a fad and it went away, but it went into its own market like cell phone gaming. Yeah, did, yeah, that's right? true. The 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 console gamers aren't like or sorry, like the people who who make the consoles aren't trying to ham on the VR yeah, exactly. on top of everything else because they were like, you know what, like, like PS Five for example, if it's fourteen hundred dollars and it still needs you to buy a six hundred dollar VR headset, <laughs> yeah. like you're just not gonna do that. No. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I I I look back at like motion controls. I'm so happy that motion controls are gone. Yeah, right. They're still it's, here, it, but they're only here like if you want them to be. They're exactly they're yeah. they're they're like a uh, a nice little side thing. Oh, you know what? Like to. speaking of motion controls that are still kind of here, I played. Um, I got like Doom one and two on the Nintendo mm -hmm. Switch, okay. and you can have it so that there's slight motion controls and i mm. actually liked it so i would be i would have like the use the, my joysticks to aim like my my fucking analog sticks to aim and then if i needed to move just a smidge over i could just tilt my controller and it'd move that aiming reticle over a little bit no kidding and it okay. was so handy man that that sounds like it could be i mean that's that's where motion control shines mm -hmm. right if if you're forcing me to waggle the stupid controller just to play the game, and this no. is a button, like, nothing but a yeah, button. Like give essentially, me, give me a, give me an option. Let yeah. me turn that on and off. Then, if you're gonna do that, yeah. But um, that is that's where it hit the dirt for me. But the Wii, the Wii had a lot of good games. Yeah, it. it did. The Wii had a ton of good games on it. Um. You had like your your standards, right? We talked about Wii Sports already. Yeah. We talked about Mario Galaxy already. WarioWare, that was a fun one. Like yeah. it was really good at games that had mini games. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. No problem. Um, how about Xenoblade Chronicles? Yeah, dude. Xenoblade. It's wild to think Xenoblade Chronicles got its start started on, on the, the Wii. Wii. And even I Dragon Quest Ten, it wasn't released here, and I mean it still isn't, I guess. But I play it on PC right. now, but. It's crazy it to think Dragon Quest X, a game that's still around today and it is absolutely phenomenal, started on the Wii. This little mm -hmm. guy right here started on the Wii. <laughs> Did he even see his eyes? <laughs> that's hilarious. Did um did did Dragon uh, Dragon Quest X use waggle controls when it was on the God, Wii? God, I don't know how the fuck you controlled that. Because I was, would have had to use the classic Xenoblade controller. Chronicles. I would assume so. Because there's no and way. And same with Xenoblade Chronicles, right? Like Xenoblade I don't know used how... uh, no, Xenoblade used a joystick and uh, so like the, what this. was the waggle controllers controls for attacking? You you uh, you I don't know that you did. You would like select on the thing with the D pad, like you know how you have this the circles yeah, at the, the bottom to select yeah, your shit. The skills. And this is to yep. move. So I think you would D if I remember correctly, you would D pad to move the to select your attack, the and then just hit then... A to confirm. Right, yeah. so it wasn't waggle controls. No, it just happened to understand. use that. Okay, and because I was trying to think like how you could use. Waggle yeah, controls, I don't think it right? was. Um, they released Punch Out. They brought Punch Out back. Right. How did that Wii. work? I never played that. That one. one worked really well. So you could do it just normal. You could just play with the buttons. Okay. But you, you did have the ability to use the uh, joystick the and then joysticks if you and wanted shit. to. It never worked as good though. Yeah, that's right. What I like it always worked better to use the the joystick left and right to dodge out of the way. Yeah. And then the button to like to do your uh, to to shell. Yeah. And then um to to do your punches on your other buttons, right? Yeah. It, the game was a lot of fun and they it was it was basically a remake of the original punch out. Okay. So you got to see Glass Joe again. You got to That's see cool. King Hippo again, right? And they're all upscaled. They're all, you know, Do you upgraded. have that or no? I don't, but Jason did. Uh... Jason Jason played the crap out of Punch-Out. He loved Punch-Out, dude. Um 
I I should I see the problem is that all these games are like fun games that I played, but to now to go back and get a copy of it's like eighty dollars. Like it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, that's right? true. The price of especially of like used first party Nintendo games. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Mario Kart Wii was the other one I wanted to talk about. I do have Mario Kart Wii. Okay. That was the dawn of the steering wheel. The plastic for Mario Kart, wheel. and it worked really well. Oh, did it? It actually worked really well, right? Yeah. Um, it, the the problem with Mario Kart Wii is is you don't get a choice. That's how you control the the. Oh, the, you can't use a joystick. No joystick. No nothing oh. in that one. Um, unless they released an update and changed it. But at the time when I played it, no, it was oh, that's you so use motion controls and that's it. Yeah, the choice would be nice. I mean, if it worked well, then I guess it's fine. But if it, mm -hmm. I don't know. A lot of them played the crap so out of that jank. game though. It was a lot of fun. I it only played really it, I think, entry. like one day because my my sister in law got it or whatever, and so oh, okay. we played it a little bit. But I wasn't a big fan personally. But no. Um, um, the only other one that I had on my list was um, No More Heroes. Right. I really liked No More Heroes. I think No More I Heroes one and game. two were on the Wii, weren't they? They they were, but I never played two. Oh, okay. I only played one. One was very very good, so I can't say anything about two. Mm -hmm. But um, one was fantastic. Yeah, that was a big game. That was uh, Suda. It was a mature rated game. Yeah, yeah. It had blood in it in a Nintendo game, yeah. right? Like it had boobies. <laughs> it yeah, like, yeah. Suda Fifty One makes like, some. Yeah. Suda Fifty One is like the Quentin Tarantino of video games. Mm -hmm. I feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, it he's, was really he's good. He's got some good stuff. Um, for me, uh, obviously, like Wii Sports was like the first one, and for then, sure. um, I remember I got Mad World. Do you remember that one? It was like this black and familiar. white. It was almost like it was almost like kind of like a Smash TV concept. Like you're on like okay. this game show and you just have to like murder people basically. Oh really? So you could like rip a stop sign and your guy was like just really strong. You'd like rip a stop sign through the out of the ground and like spear it through a guy's head and throw him no into kidding. a grinder and stuff like that and it was just like just like I don't know, just gore gore the video game basically. <laughs> but it was like a cell shaded black and white game, and the only thing that was right. color was the blood. And it was just like mm. it was kind of a cool. That sounds cool. Little concept of a game. Yeah, it it was cool to see the Wii stepping into more mature titles. Yeah. Because up to that point, like there was no blood on the system. No. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super Nintendo, GameCube, like. They kept it clean. They tried to. The yeah, there's the odd. Mm -hmm. You'd get the odd one, and then it sure. always stood out. Like, I know on the GameCube, you'd have, like, Killer7 and stuff like that. Right. Which I think, again, was another Suda51 game, Killer7 was. <laughs> but um, what else did I... Uh, so I got a game that I have but never played um, and I really need to play is called The Last Story, and it's by Mistwalker. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, Sakaguchi. It's a J okay. turn-based, apparently, JRPG made by Sakaguchi, the guy that did, like, the Final Fantasy series. Final Fantasy. Like so I need to play that one, but I haven't yet. Um, man, I'm trying to think. I should have I should have, I should have looked at my games before we started. But I know they re-released Donkey Kong Country. So there was Donkey oh, Kong Do Country Returns. No, there was Returns. Donkey Kong Country Returns. It was, like, a sequel Returns. to the series. I had that one. Yeah. That one was good. Yeah. It was hard as yeah. fuck, though, but I guess they yeah, all kind of get that Yeah, I heard it was difficult. Way. Yeah, um, Returns came out. There was also... Um, Oh, what was it? Uh, they did that ah, shitty Barrel Blast one. <laughs> Donkey Kong Barrel Blast. <laughs> <laughs> there was... Um... Oh, dang. Now I completely lost it. I had it, and then now I completely lost it. Another one I played the crap out of. Smash Brothers Brawl, I guess. Oh, yeah. That was good. That was good. I um, I still like Brawl probably the best because of its story Brawl was mode. fun. Yeah. Yeah, Brawl was a lot of fun. The story mode Funny story really with good. Brawl. Um, we ended up getting a copy, an early copy of that. And I remember my buddy Matt came over because Jason got this copy of it. And Matt is into Smash Bros. I'm mm -hmm. not a Smash Bros guy. I suck at Smash yeah, Bros. Yeah, same, same. I, I like playing it, but I've never been good at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, same. Matt loves Smash Bros. And so he was stoked for Smash Bros. Brawl. And Jason ended up getting a copy of it. And I remember Matt came over. We played Smash Bros. Brawl from like two o'clock in the afternoon until like 6 a.m. the next morning. Like we just went hard Jeez. on that. 
It was so much Those fun. Those games was are like so much big... fun, but they're like, mm-hmm. you play them for like a weekend and then you just don't touch them forever, right? That's and how that's I that. always am with, yeah. with those games. Like they're fun that's to get that. a group of friends together and just mess around in. Yeah. Um, another one though that, that I loved um, was Dragon Quest Swords. It was like, mm-hmm. it was like an arcade light gun shooter, but with, with swords and stuff like right. that. And it was, it was really well done. You had, you'd hold like, I think the B button or the the Z button or something like that for your shield, and then you okay. like you could find like weak spots on the enemies and like cast spells and level up, get weapon upgrades, and it was it was really well done. It was like its own standalone story game and stuff like that. And I that's I really str- cool. I never beat it when it first came out, and then a couple of years ago I went back and I played it for the stream, and I was like, we're gonna actually beat this this time. We're doing this this time. Yeah, and it was it was yeah. good. It was really well done. I uh, I had so um, the new Super Mario Bros. They had released. Oh yeah, because they were doing the three D platforming, three D platforming, three D platforming, and, and they, they didn't do any two D for a long time. No two D. Well, long they did time, the one on the did. DS, right? The, the mm, new Super yeah, Mario right. Brothers on the DS, and my wife got yep. that game. And like, it's funny because my wife's not like a gamer. But when she gets a game, she has to like one hundred percent it. So like, she, yeah. So she like beat Super Mario Brothers or New Super Mario Brothers on the DS, and right. like 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 beat the game, cleared all the levels, and then I'm like, didn't you beat it? Like, how come you're still playing it? She's like, well, I didn't get all the Yoshi coins. And I'm like, oh okay. <laughs> and then when you get all the Yoshi coins, it like unlocks other stuff, and it's like, holy shit, dude! Like, you can play right. another game now. But it's just funny That's... because she she never plays video games. But when she does, if she plays a game, she has to like one hundred percent it. That's hilarious. Yeah. Um. Another but... one for we was o- Okami. Do you remember oh, that yeah. one? Yeah. So that was a PS2 you had to draw game the originally. Kanji but with the Wii mote. Yeah, it was a PS2 game, but it actually worked way better on the Wii because you could actually Wii. draw. You had to use the analog sticks to try and draw the shit on the PS2. The I have it on the PS2. Yeah. And yeah, it was. Yeah. It was a good game. Like, if you like Zelda games, you would love Okami. But I'm not the biggest yeah. Zelda guy, so, like, it's not yeah. my favorite game. It's but never I, really, it never really appealed to me, but I did watch it played. Yeah, it's a really well-made um, game. A couple like, times, it's, it's a and, uh, yeah, that one, It and it had a really cool story, like that kind of ancient Japanese lore yeah. kind of concept to it. And yeah, I you're like essentially the playing as the god of the sun, right? Like, the main mm-hmm. Japanese Shinto god and stuff like that. But that was, uh, cool. that was a good one. I'm trying to think now, man. I can't remember like any freaking Wii games for some reason. <clears throat> but I played a lot of Wii back then. Oh, dude, I had NFL or NHL 08, and like okay. I actually kind of liked it. Like you would ha- you would like go up like this, and then because like you know how a lot of the the basketball games you like hold the jump button and then you release it at the top of your jump yeah. so that your you shot. You mean NBA? You NBA. said NHL. Oh, sorry, sorry. NBA 08. NBA Live 08. Not- not this. No, no. It is is basketball. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> and like I've always been like a uh, Seattle SuperSonics fan, and that's like the mm. last year where you could play as the SuperSonics because the team got sold to Oklahoma after that. Right. And uh, yeah, so I I remembered playing like the whole season as them, and and it was nice because. Like I said, on lo- a lot of basketball games, you would, like, hold the jump button and you'd release the button at the top of your jump to increase the chance of your shot going in. Got it. But it, it was kind of nice on the Wii. I would play it, like, standing up, and, and you could, like, you would go up, and then you would, sh- you would just kind of, like, flick it up to shoot to shoot at the top of your jump. <laughs> and you could do, right. like, crossovers and stuff. Like, it was actually pretty fun to play. Cool. And then that was – shortly after that was when uh, they finally did, like, the NBA Jam. Remember when they brought NBA Jam back? Mm. And then, right. they, and then they did on fire edition on like PS3 and stuff like that. And yeah, yeah, that was awesome. That was really cool. Yeah. Um, a couple other. So the we int- introduced the virtual console. Right. And that, that was, was that awesome. was really cool. Um, I mean, you're rebuying games that were already released back in the day, but the virtual console had a very it had a sizable library and it's honestly embarrassing that the the nintendo switch online didn't just carry all those games forward. they should have dude yeah, for real there's no reason the why. amount of money that they charge a person for that service there's yeah. no reason why that, that that's not the case yeah but, dude because like, there they, is a reason they it's it's crazy money. 
it's crazy because like people look at the Nintendo Switch online, and if you weren't like around or gaming when the Wii was around, and you yeah. think that the Nintendo Switch online has a like, lot wow, of games, look at all these games, yeah, dude, the the it's Virtual Console had like thousands console. of games. It so was many, so good, and yeah. like there were so many games. That's how I kind of got like into like even like the Turbo Graphics 16 and stuff yeah. like that was through There's the a lot of retro console. games there because you could buy it for. Four ninety nine. Yeah, you can play. Just play the game. Yep, you could play like yep. uh, I don't know if you could do Master System, but you could do like Genesis. There was Turbo there was Graphics. Genesis, yeah. There was NES. All kinds of stuff. N sixty four. I mean, I I did. I that was the I best Mario, way to Mario play. Like I think N sixty four games was and on it was flawless. This. It yeah. worked very well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, something else like too with the I've I've got kind of a, a site up here. So with the Wii, the uh, the Mies, the creation of an avatar. Oh yeah, for yourself, and that was like your save new. data too, kind of like you could save the me to your Wii mode yeah. and then take it to another guy's house instead of having memory cards. It would just save in your controller. Your, your guy. Yeah. It was. It was. It was fresh at that point. There was no avatars for your characters at that point, right? Yeah. The Xbox and the PlayStation both used a like profile picture, and right. the Wii and was then the like Xbox here is, added here is after, and then the Xbox right? stole the idea and gave yeah. you an avatar. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, I forgot about the, that. Yeah. The 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 whole me thing was really cool. It was it was fun to mess around in the studio, like making yourself. Some people would like make themselves. Yeah, or they right? make characters, or they would make this like awful looking ugly dude thing. or whatever. <laughs> yeah, dude, I just I'm gonna peek at my shelf quick because I I feel like I'm missing a so ton many of freaking Wii games that I, that absolutely. I'm not talking about. So hold yeah. the fort down, yeah, brother. Yeah, for sure, I will. Hold the other her thing down. I'll, I'll talk about for this moment while Dookie's out of the out of the picture looking at his stuff is that um, the backwards compatibility on the Wii was nuts because people moved from the GameCube over to the Wii and they were able to basically play anything GameCube. The backwards compatibility oh, was yeah, absolutely dude. You nuts. just plug a GameCube controller in and you're good to go. I had the full set of GameCube controller ports on top. Yeah. You could load your GameCube games into it. It was 100% hardware backwards compatible. You didn't need to buy a GameCube if you had a Wii because yeah. you had a GameCube. You just needed the controller. Yeah, dude. So another uh, – some more games that I that I, yep. that I found here that I have. Um, so – I've always been, like, interested in, like, the Resident Evil series, but I'm terrible at them because they're all full of puzzles and oh, shit like that. But yep. on the Wii, they released, like, Umbrella Chronicles and, like, Dark Side yep. Chronicles. And it, you could play through all the Resident Those Evil games shooters, right? as light gun shooters. Yeah. Yep. And that yep. was so awesome. And then another one I played, uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn was on the Wii. That's Ooh, just, like, the I most about chill one. fucking game of all time. Just sit back and play. I never liked the Yarn games. There was like Just, a Yoshi one too, apparently. There was a right? Yoshi's Woolly World. Right, um, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. I, they, they never really appealed to me, but like I get it. I I understand the the concept with it, with it just being a chill game too. Oh yeah, so another another series kind of ish of games I wanted to mention was this was kind of like so after the Dreamcast failed, Sonic kind of went like the, like Sega kind of went to like the GameCube. And, mm -hmm. like, all of a sudden, like, Sonic Adventure was on GameCube and Sonic Adventure 2 was on GameCube. And then you'd get uh, them showing up on the PS2. Like, you'd get Sonic Heroes on the PS2 and stuff like that. Shadow the Hedgehog on the PS2. Uh, and then when the Wii came out, they came out with... It was called Sonic and the Secret Rings. So... <laughs> okay. So they had... They had that Sonic 06... On the fucking yep. PS3, which I, fucking Xbox, bombed, yeah. right? I heard it was awful. Yeah. And then, and the reason it bombed, uh, uh, not the only reason, but one of the reasons it bombed is because they wanted to make, they, they split the team in half to make another <laughs> Sonic game at the same time. And this other Sonic game was Sonic and the Secret Rings. And it is like the most basic bitch game ever. It's, you control Sonic like he's a fucking car. So you le you tilt your <laughs> stick forward to make him run, backwards to slow him down, and side to side to steer Sonic. And in order to like jump or like do like the the spin dash attack, you would just go like this. It was oh, awful, geez. dude. 
Um, I remembered really, like I beat it. Like I remember loving it when it first came out because I was like, Oh, a new Sonic game, but it's, I haven't played it since I can guarantee you that game is dog shit. Uh, I just listening to it. I can, I can, I can put those pieces together pretty quickly, <laughs> but then they came out with, and this is actually the first game I streamed on Twitch Okay. And it was Sonic Colors. And that game's actually a pretty damn good game. And it's No kidding. It's kind of like the first good Sonic game since like Sonic Adventure. And I just remember loving the hell out of it and it was kind of like back to the old like Sonic Adventure style game and you and but you're like selecting your levels and I don't know, it just felt like what a 3D Sonic game should feel like. Right. And and it was nice to finally get a non-shit Sonic game. That, that's like gotta a, that's gotta be a good feeling. Yeah, because there was so many like bad ones in between, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. That's the... dude. The Sonic and the Secret Wing Rings. The whole story <laughs> was like Sonic gets sucked into like the story of like the Arabian Nights, and right. like and like you're like fighting genies and shit, and and like it was awful. All the cutscenes were like literally still images, and then the page would flip, and it was like another picture, and like there was no. It was just terrible. Oh man! And I was so hyped for this game, and the music was so good though, because the music's so good in every Sonic game. It's like right. Make believe reborn, and it was just like <laughs> it was so good. But the game itself was dog shit. Just awful. Mm -hmm. Yep. Never split the team. That is the rule. You no have. doubt. Never, never split the team. Um, the last thing I have about the Wii, I don't have anything else after this, but the Wii Shop song. Dude, that song's always in my head. Yeah, dude. Forever. Just a masterpiece. That'll never. That is a masterpiece. I'm I'm sad Never that they did not head. continue that song through the the future yeah. uh, systems. I want the ability in the Switch to turn that shop music on. Even Let do me it, turn it on. Yeah, like in the store, right? Like have yeah. an option to toggle yeah, it the off. E or on. Give me an option to turn the song on. Yeah, I think that's so cool. That was it made me want to spend more time in the shop. Yeah, it like did. I wanted to open up the, the shop more to the just music. to put the music on. Dude, it was so good. Remember when you would like download a game and then and Mario, Mario would, like would hit the blocks, the blocks to like yeah to to, to so download. Cool. I, that they, was kind of there cool. was a lot of was really a lot cool of, stuff. Yeah, a lot of good yeah, ideas cool. and stuff. Some of yeah. it was just like executed badly, but every once in a while yeah. it was executed I really mean, it, well. It can't it can't all be awesome. Yeah, but I mean, massive success for Nintendo. I I I, I would go so far to say it's probably one of, if not the best selling system they've ever had. I would say the switch has got to be the best now. Yeah. I don't know. But so, like, I think the second, DS, man. like if you're including handhelds, probably the DS. Sure. Would probably be number one. I think. Cause like everyone I had, I think I have had like four DSs because I had one and my wife had one and then I bought a DSI. Right. And then I guess I got it. I got like a three DS after, but I got two, three DSs too. I mean, that's that the thing about this, yeah, you're right. You're right. The, the switch, the switch did outsell the Wii. Yeah, the Wii sold 101.6 million units as of September 30th, 2019. The Nintendo Switch has sold 143.4 nice. million as the of September 30th, 2024. The Switch is fantastic. It is. But I mean, like in comparison, so the Wii absolutely won the console race that year between the oh, 360. Yeah. And the, the PS3, PS3 and the Wii, um, but yeah, that is that's insane. And it was a low price too. It was, it was like two two hundred fifty bucks or something like that, compared to the other systems like five hundred dollars. And something. that was, was kind of price. That was kind of the beginning though of where the Nintendo console was always like as strong as or weaker than the previous generation. Yeah. Like the yeah. Wii was like maybe as good as a PS2 graphically wise. Oh right? yeah. The, the Wii, we was a generation behind in graphics yeah. compared to, but they didn't want to be 1080p. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Quality graphics. They wanted a fun game. Right. Yeah, and yeah. So hey, as long as the game runs fine, the, the graphic quality has literally never mattered to me. Yeah. Unless yeah. it becomes, a detriment to playing the game yeah right? exactly if, yeah. The, if the game's like when when pokemon was choppy 
and like freezing up and it wasn't loading like that's where the graphics right with like some of the tune the graphics down i am shocked dude since we're since i just kind of railroaded us here i am shocked that pokemon hasn't leaned into 2d hd at this point yeah no doubt Exactly. That, like I don't get how that's and MMO. Not their bread and like to me, Pokemon a two D a two D HD two D MMO Pokemon MMO people it, would devour. It would be that insane. Shit. It would be insane. It would, it would it, print money. At, at this point, I just have to accept the fact that they're choosing not to do it. It's not that they that they haven't thought of it. It's that they likely thought of it and went, "Nah, we're doing better off releasing what we're releasing." Yeah, could be. Yeah, unreal. But anyway. Yeah, the Wii was a, a hell of a console. It Fantastic system. revolutionized kind of the way gaming was. I think the it, prototype it name brought, was the Re- the Nintendo Revolution. You yeah. are 100% correct. That yeah. is exactly what the code I was. love like uh, console prototypes. Like the the N64, I believe was called the Dolphin or the Ultra the Dol- 64 or something the like that. The Dolphin was the GameCube, I think. Ah, right. Dolphin was the GameCube. Ultra 64 yep. was the N64. And yeah. then I don't know any other prototype ones, but I just remember like the the Nintendo ones. I mean, I can I can tell you. The, the what was game, the Switch? The GameCube was codenamed Dolphin. The Switch was started with an N. I can't remember what the, the hell it was called. Wii U. Oh man, talk Wii about U a was failure. Terrible. Did we skip the Wii U? Cuz No, the Wii U would have been the next set. Did we do Oh right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do we Terrible. even do we even do an episode on the Wii U? It had like what well, we two have games? we have to mention we have to mention it, but yeah, I owned a Wii U. Right, I wish it didn't. <laughs> I, the Wii U. So so you know what's funny about the Wii U? Since we're talking about it, yeah, the Wii U. I was going to uh, boycott Nintendo after that. The Switch came out, and I was like, Nah, no thanks. I'm, I'm yeah, good. yeah, burn like you're not getting me again. Yeah. Sorry, you got me with the Wii U. You're not getting me again. Yeah. Um, the Wii U's oh code name was <laughs> you ain't gonna the, the, co- the code name for Wii U was Project Cafe. That is a terrible fucking name. I mean, it just the, the writing was on the wall <laughs> no right doubt. from the beginning. The Nintendo Switch's code name. I don't see a code name. Maybe they dumped the code name after oh, this. Oh, I thought it started with an N. Uh, I can't remember what the hell it was called. Yeah, it doesn't say anything uh, about a code name. And I don't think I don't think like the the PlayStation systems ever really had a code name. Xbox can't even come up with real names, so they probably didn't have <laughs> code names. Dude, I don't even I cannot follow the freaking Yeah, Xbox, Xbox is for, is gone as far as I I'm gave concerned. up on Xbox. Xbox had it they were they had it so good with the 360 and yeah, then they after that called it, it like the 1080 or the 720. I think they, everybody they thought it was going to be 720. You know what? They should have just dropped it at that point and went to Xbox 3. And just I three, mean, I four, wouldn't five mind follow If they would have kept with the degrees thing, like, well, but at a certain point you're the going 720, to seven twenty, the nine hundred, right? and then the it's ten, just, the ten eighty. Yeah. I I at I least think it's something th- you can follow, you know, and it's yeah. a unique naming that that you can actually follow consecutively. Yeah. I mean, I guess so. It's just kind of like eh. Like Xbox um, One is the worst of all the names. Xbox One X One. X, dude, the the newest one is hands down the worst. Uh, calling it Xbox One, whatever, fine. It. it Why would they vulnerable. call it that though, dude? It's not the first one. So the I can I can tell you what they said. The reason why it was Xbox One was because the concept was you would plug everything into it to make it a one piece system. Your TV would go into your Xbox. Your stereo would go into your Xbox. You'd run everything out of your Xbox. It would become the center hub of your home Yeah, but you can fucking system. do that on all the consoles. Like that well, was no, when it... no, you couldn't. PlayStation didn't allow that. It had an HDMI out and an HDMI in. So you could plug your cable into the oh, Xbox and route your cable through that's it. That's weird. So you play a game, you're done playing your game, you turn on your TV, and you do it all through your Xbox. That was that E3 where they're like, you can watch TV. TV, that's, watch TV on your Xbox, TV. And that's 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 what they were going for. The concept was it's the centerpiece of your oh. home media system. Stupid idea. Yeah. That's not what that's not why you're buying the damn thing. You no. want to have a media system, you buy a media system. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Um, so the, I'm scrolling down the Xbox, dude, it's so stupid. So the, do they have code names? They do every, they all had code names up to a certain point. And then I think they just stopped with the code names, right? What were the Xbox code names though? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Cause the, the regular names are awful. So I can't, 
Like so, so okay. No, sorry. Before we get to the code names, here's the regular names. Okay, so started out as Xbox. Yeah, that's right? fine. It's good. Then it went to the Xbox 360, which is good. All right, fine. Yeah. Then it went to the Xbox One. Eh, Terrible. Don't love it. Garbage. Don't love it, but it's not confusing. At least it's confusing. Right? Don't don't. It's, it's, <laughs> I'm it's, already it's confused. Not, it's not confusing, but here's where. Are it you gonna play? Apart. Are you playing the Xbox 360 or the original? Which one's the original? Well, Xbox One. <laughs> X, yeah. No, I get it. But, but I, I would say at this point, it's not so confusing because it's about to get really bad. Okay. Yeah. So from the Xbox One, the the midpoint. You know how PS Pro, the PS4, the PS4 Pro. Pro. Yeah. So the equivalent to the PS4 Pro in this case is the Xbox One S and the Xbox One X. The S being software only. The X having a disk drive. That's kind of was the thing. Okay. Right. And and I don't know for sure, but the concept was one was digital, one was drive. That was right. basically what it was. Slim, tiny, and the X being the powerhouse. Yeah. That was the concept. Okay. Then the next series, the PS5 equivalent, is the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series X. Why series? What does that even fucking mean? Why are they still using S and X? Yeah. Because there, you had Xbox One S, that was the PS4, and now you have the Xbox Series X, which is the PS5. Yeah. And why Series? Like, Series is the dumbest name for it's anything. Just, it's just so dumb. It was so dumb. Whoever came up with this naming convention, stupid. Like, imagine if they There's, came out with, like, a new Star dumb. Trek series, and instead of it being called Star Trek The Next Generation, it was called Star Trek Series. Like it's what the so dumb. fuck? <laughs> the, the, the series, the series, whatever. But why reuse S and X? Why not pick two new letters at this point? Yeah. Because then L... you have some poor grandma who goes in and yeah, buys a dude. game for her kid and buys an Xbox One S version of the game. Yeah. When they needed the Series S version yes. of the game. Yes. It just makes it, it even more confusing. confusing. It is yeah. just way too confusing. So stupid. For the longest it's, time, it's I thought Xbox. I thought the Xbox One was the newest and the series was older. But no, they're just no. It's just they're awful. Just, it's just dumb. The Xbox 360 code name. Do you think Xbox is done after this generation? I I personally I think so. A lot of people are telling me no, but they're getting they're getting absolutely trampled. People are moving away from consoles, man. I am convinced that the Xbox is not going to have a system. They're going to go to a service like Game Pass, and you will pay for Game Pass. Is. But they will allow you to have Game Pass on your PlayStation. Mm. And that will be the beginning of the end of game consoles as we know it. Because you won't pay for a system anymore. You'll just buy a service and then you just need a box to play it on. Yeah. Whether it be a PC or a PlayStation or whatever game. Like the Ouya. Dude, for real. That's what it'll be. <laughs> it'll just be some system that you sign up for subscriptions and you play yeah. your game on this nondescript system. I hopefully not I hope not. Like that's why I hope like PS PlayStation stays in there all the time. And it I honestly be, as much nice, as I but... don't like Xbox and like shit on Xbox and stuff, I I honestly do hope Xbox stays around because as much as I'm more of a PlayStation guy, you can't just have one powerhouse console. Like yeah, right. the Nintendo's always going to be around, but it's it's not like the cutting edge of technology and like, you know what I mean? And you yeah. need that competition otherwise PlayStation could just do whatever the fuck they want, right? For sure. For sure. Yeah. And you just got to um, like it and pay $15,000. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't see anything in my quick searching for code names for Xbox, so it is oh, what it okay. is. Okay. Yeah, I, I wouldn't find, think if so. If you find them if you guys find the code names, slap them to us in comments. Yeah. Throw, throw the throw the code Send, names, dude. In, in the comments, comments talk about all like console code names because that's yeah. cool shit. Yeah, I want to hear your favorite favorite oh. of the code names and tell us about the the Wii. Tell us your favorite Wii Wii games. games you, your your you opening Wii, like the first time you played the Wii, your experience yeah. with the Wii, why the, you got a Wii. The Wii, the Wii for me was synonymous with like couch co op, like playing with yeah. friends. Yeah. Remember that shitty really fucking um, Mario and Sonic at the Olympics? <laughs> you came to my house and we played that. Eh, it was okay. It was pretty it was bad. it was all pretty right bad. for what it was, but it was just this. It was just a lot of this. Yeah, it was. And same with like all the Mario parties uh, that were on the Wii. It yeah. was just like oh, a lot of just a lot of waggling. There's like a lasso Everyone's one, waggling. dude. Yeah. One thing that was kind of cool but kind of lame with uh, the. Uh, that Dragon Quest Swords was as you were like fighting and doing really well in it, 
um, you would have like special moves and your special bar would charge up and then you'd like select your special move and different special moves would require you to do different things. So like the first right. one was like thrust your sword into the air and then slice down. And then okay. one was like, you would have to like draw like a figure eight on the screen as fast as like as many as you could and then thrust nice. it up and come down. And one was like, you'd like wave it around and it was just kind of nice. Cause then because the camera would aim up to the sky and like lightning right. would be like going into your sword while you're doing this and stuff and it was just kind of cool how they did it that way but there was there was a lot of cool and with motion controls were new enough then that it didn't feel awful yeah but looking back at it now like if you go back and play a lot of those Wii games they get old real fast yeah they're not real well made fast. yeah yeah, well, yeah but yeah that was the Wii that was think. uh console code names um, I remember like even the, 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 there was like some weird Sega in between consoles that never got released. Like mm -hmm. there was like the Sega, I want to say like Neptune and stuff that never came oh, out. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, and like, I think it was supposed to be the, um, Hacko actually sent me like the documents for it and everything the one night, but oh, it was no supposed way. to be like the 32 X standalone was like the Neptune, I believe. But, it, and, and then they had like one that was like could play Saturn and 32X games or something like that. Yeah, there was, like, a bunch of, like, in-between little console ideas that just got scrapped. That's so cool. But I just, huh, I don't know, I'm fascinated it. by that stuff. It's just kind of yeah. cool. But, yeah. yeah, guys, thanks for listening and or watching. Um, I am Dookie03. I'm the DG Online. <laughs> uh, make sure you tune in to, uh, we, we streamed regularly during the, during the week. Yeah, uh, you can find us on Twitch and on YouTube from the, at, at those names, uh, and as well with Specter Fest. A quick reminder: Specter Fest, October nineteenth. Yeah, absolutely. Check out sure this guy's that. got a podcast about board games now with yeah, our buddy yeah. Finny. Tabletop RPGs. Yeah, you bet. So if you're into games like Dungeons and Dragons, Pathfinder, uh, Merkborg, Traveler, or other tabletop RPGs, if you like listening to Finny's sexy, sultry voice. Uh, yeah, check us out. We're on Spotify. We're on Apple Podcasts. We're on YouTube. Search Masters of Pen and Paper, and uh, you'll you'll find us there. Um, all of this is available in the Discord. Yeah, that's your best way to get in touch with it, with us about any of this stuff. Yeah. So make sure you yeah. join the Discord and come talk to us there. All right, guys, have a good one. Thanks for listening and or watching, and we'll catch you next time. We'll see you next time. So long.